I'm back to do a video for you. And um, as I woke up this morning, my verse came to me um, to wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You wait for him to give you strength, especially when you're almost 98 years old. You have to have his courage and his strength to go on. So I'm going to do some more beautiful paper, and it's nine by 10, and I like it because you, you can just play around with it. You know me, I like to play around with my paints. And um, I usually use this big brush, but I'm, I'll see how it works on this. This is a eight by 10. And uh, you put paper is almost like glass. It's um, very smooth. And you can wipe it right off if you don't, if you don't like it. This is kind of wobbly. I'm going to start with watercolor and uh, maybe go to some ink. But uh, I'm going to start with purple. Add some water. And you see the effects you get. Maybe I'm going to do some flowers today. I will use um, a green in here. Just put some green. It does all kind of weird things, you see. You can make it smooth if you want to. I got some lavender. It's about the same color. That's a purple. I'm going to use a purple and lay it in darker like this. See, it kind of does its own thing. See how it does? It's like glass. It's fun to play with. You can take a little bit of water and come down like this. And see how it runs down? It's all right. If I was laying it down flat, it wouldn't do that. But I'm painting it this way. That's the easiest. And here's some gold. I'm going to put a little gold in here somewhere. I like the texture it gets. Maybe I'll make some of these. Up in here, like this. Maybe a little bit of, of uh, magenta in these flowers. And that's a little bit strong. You could take this and just wipe it right off if you don't like it. And see, I can... But I kind of think I want to let it go. Try this different stuff. This is the blue. And maybe I'll put a little other blue in here. You have to lay it on careful. Let's see what it does. It does a lot of fun things. You don't have to just make a beautiful painting. I like this. I like to do like this. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to put some darker purple. Now when you layer it like this, you have to just go very smooth. Otherwise, 
you get down in the white. Maybe I have paper um, after it dries then you can take your brush and gently go over it but uh, you have to it has to be real dry or you take it all off and but you know you ought to try this paper because this is fun stuff and you don't have to uh, worry about all the details and I don't like details, you know that. I'm going to make a, a light green. Or maybe it's going to be a dark green. Just a, a dark green. <laughs> I just never did this before. I don't know. Why it's doing it now. Once it dries, it'll stay that way. I still like the shape of that cloud. Um, I would like to have this a little touch. Maybe I have it. See what water does to it, and uh, I've got some ink here. I'm going to try to see what this ink does. On. Maybe right in here. Well, oh, that's a really bright color, isn't it? When it dries on your paper, um, after it dries, then you can take your brush and gently go over it. But uh, you have to, it has to be real dry or you take it all off. And, but you know, you ought to try this paper because this is fun stuff. And you don't have to uh, worry about all the details, and I don't like details, you know that. I'm going to make a, a light green. Uh, or maybe it's going to be a dark green. Just a, a dark green. I just never did this before. I don't know why it's doing it now. I have a rigger and it's got a dark color on it. Kind of use, use it like this. Take it, I can take it off. I'm thinking of it. I'm going to make this is ink. I'll make a little maybe blossom there. Make this a bigger shape it a little better. I don't like that there. So what do I do? Just take it off. Isn't that fun? You don't like something? Look. Just take it off. There it goes. It's gone. I like that. I like that. 
step to be able to do that. And uh, I wanted to get a real light green in here, if I can. Uh, maybe something up in here. You see what happens? Sprayer, if I did, I'd spray it all off. I just want to get some texture. Got to use some ink. This is magenta. It's pretty. Maybe it helps shake these flowers a little bit. put it in one of these little things. I should explain to you that um, it comes in a, a bottle like this and I, you just unscrew the top and you pour a little bit out in one of those dishes and it lasts a long time and uh, it's very, it's a lot of fun to play with. I'm just been starting to use it because I got a whole set of it in all kinds of colors. Now there's some one thing I want to do. I get that green back that I had right in here, and I lost it. See, you, you can't scrub it. If you scrub it, that's what happens. Too much water. Can't scrub it. Can't scrub it. Have to lightly put it on. I'm gonna put on fast like that. This over here. The reason I did that is because. Um, Somehow, I touched it with my hand, and uh, it won't take paint. So, you can just wipe it off. Once you wipe it off, and I think you can put... See if you're here like that. Real smooth. Be careful. It's kind of pretty. Uh, take a brush and get a little weight on the sides. It has to have a little bit of water on. Maybe right in here. See. See how that works? Well, I think I'm going to stop and put that in a frame and call it a day. I turn it upside down. I know so you probably haven't seen all of it, but I said, and one more thing I wanted to do, I want to try some of this turquoise ink. And 
this. It's, it's really nice. Maybe too many lines, but you want to scrape it down. I'm using a little turquoise ink, and uh, I'm trying to see how it works. It works pretty good. See? I let it rain. Maybe I should quit playing with it. But it's kind of fun. That's green. That's a turquoise. Isn't that pretty? I hope you enjoyed this today. I know uh, the sun's out, but we got a lot of snow. And it's very cold. But uh, I'm waiting on the Lord today and wait to see what he wants me to do. I always want to paint, and I can paint just so long. You know, I'll be 98 pretty soon. And oh well, I'm still doing this. I'm making my own video, and uh, re editing it, and putting it on my channel on YouTube. And if you'd like to uh, see my videos, um, just type in YouTube Millie Smith and I do have one that, that told about a venture I had last year I almost died. Uh, it's called Painting a Real Event. I wish you'd look at it. And also I have a lot of things on eBay. If you'd like one of my paintings on your wall, they're very reasonable and I would appreciate it. I'm going to wait and put this in a frame. I put it in a frame and uh, it's kind of pretty hanging on your wall, but it would kind of nice. And um, I hope you try this paper and uh, I hope today that you will serve the Lord and love Him. He's a wonderful God and I found that out because I had a glimpse of Him. And he sent me back just to paint these videos and tell, him, tell you about him, how wonderful he is. And I hope you know him today. God bless you all. Thank you again. Well, it's closer, but I've had it probably years and years and years. It's a good camera, though. Now you can see the close up. Thank you very much.